So as someone creates a lot of tutorials on YouTube, I'm always looking for high quality footage. There's two problems with going to stuff that is free online. One is that you end up getting footage that everybody else has. So nothing differentiates you from the footage that everybody else puts in their tutorials. Of course, there are going to be those that are really good and ones that you can include in your video. But of course, there's those other clips that weren't really created by filmmakers, let's say, and they'll just take it from their camera and upload it to the sites. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Actually, that's pretty good if you want to share your footage with the community. But sometimes you want something that grabs people's attention. And that's when I started looking around and I came across a site that I think has extremely high quality footage. So today, let me give you a quick tour of ArtGrid. So here we have the website. You have the search bar across the top there and you can see all the clips. And I'm gonna scroll down right now and you can see the wide variety of clips that they have from different genres and the quality of these clips. If you wanna check one out, you just hover over it and it starts to play. This way you can make a judgment about whether or not this is the clip that you want to look at. Again, I'll hover over something else and you can see what this clip looks like. So you can continue to scroll down, see if there's a certain clip that interests you, but they've also divided it out into different sections. If you go to the top left, you have the different themes. Right now, I'll choose sports and fitness. You can see we have one for boxing and swimming. Right here, I'm hovering over one that has to do with basketball. And of course, if we continue to scroll down, we'll have a lot more options. On the left-hand side, you'll see all the other categories there are. So once we find a clip that we like, we will go ahead and click on it. It will bring us to a separate screen. The video will play for us in a bigger window. On the right-hand side, you'll see the resolution, the length, the camera that I was shot in, and the frame rate. Now, I have to say most of the frame rates, if not all of the frame rates, are 25 frames per second. And for what it's worth, you can put that on a 24 frame per second timeline with no perceptible difference. Scrolling down, you'll see we have different but similar clips. So if you liked a certain clip, but you didn't like that particular clip or you didn't like that angle, you could continue to look through similar clips and maybe there's one that better suits your needs. Now I know one of the first things you might be thinking is that you don't create YouTube videos like this or, or like my channel does and you don't create, create tutorial videos and you're uh, thinking to yourself, why would I need something like this? And it may be something where, let's say you're in New York and then you have some clips around there and you don't have the money, well, you either don't have a drone that you can fly up there or you don't have money put aside to maybe get a helicopter or something like that. So if you wanna get an aerial shot of the city, for example, you could always download a clip from a site like this. Now, instead of the video themes that I chose before, now I've chose people. So now you can see we can choose by ethnicity and then once I choose a certain ethnicity, I can go into an age. So here I'll choose child and you'll notice those clips fit that category. Now, as I mentioned before, because I do a lot of screen capture stuff and tutorials that show the screen, I don't wanna use the same footage over and over. I've used some client footage on tutorials before uh, and I don't always have the time uh, or sometimes the resources to go out and film something. Uh, of course, I could, you know, run out into the backyard or run out somewhere and, and go ahead and shoot something, but inevitably it will be the same footage over and over again. Having a site like ArtGrid is a great place where I can show high quality clips and there's something for the viewers to watch each and every time. So in addition to the other categories we spoke about before, there's a section called Filmmakers and it pretty much speaks for itself. There's different filmmakers that they've used and you can see the specific types of clips that they shoot. So if there's something that you see that interests you, you can click on it, it brings up a separate screen, and we're back to where we were before. You can see the tags on the right-hand side, and if you search for those specific tags, you'll find clips like this. Now, once you've decided on a clip, you come over to the right-hand side, and you click on the little shopping cart. Once you do that, if you look across the top, it will turn that shopping cart there to green. What we'll do is go up there, click on that, and you can see what's in the cart. You can verify that's exactly what you're looking for, and you can go to checkout. Any clips you've done that to will be there, and it'll also be emailed to you. Now, if we come up to the search bar right in that top section, we can search for specific things that we're looking for. So if I type beach footage, you can see it brings up another screen, and it gives you a variety of different kind of beach footage, both with people there, some with just scenery, some with aerials, 
And once again, you find the footage that you like. If it's something close to what you like, you can click on it and it will give you something comparable. I'll go ahead and do the same thing, but this time I'll choose guitar. And you'll see that we have a wide variety of guitar clips to choose from. We find the one that we like, we hover over it, comes up to another screen. On the right hand side, not only do you see the resolution and the camera that it was shot with, but you also see the available formats. And depending on which plan you choose, it will allow you to download different formats. So you have HD, Ultra HD, which is 4K, or even the log footage. As with all the reviews on my channel, if this is something that you think you would find beneficial, I highly recommend it. If it's not something that you would use all the time, you don't necessarily need to use a site like this. You could, of course, just use those free sites I mentioned. But if you want high quality footage and you want it for a good price, I definitely recommend ArtGrid. The last thing I wanted to show you is how you could sort all the footage. Right now it's sorted by staff pick, but now I can show you the top downloads. So we have this one off to the left of an eye. We have the one on the right there of the earth. Now I have to say that this site may not be as big as a lot of the other sites that are out there, but I ran more than a couple searches and a lot of the footage that I was looking for, I was able to find. As mentioned before, as of right now, they have three different plans. And what I'll do is put a link in the description below if you're interested in seeing what each of those plans are. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. There'll be a lot more reviews, tutorials, stuff along those lines on this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.